revelator aggregator let me get the bad news out of the way first the republic the american republic is over now we've had window dressing for quite some time and been running on fumes but i'm fairly convinced based on the events of the past several months that the republic is over the fourth turning has arrived and you all need to look into social cycles and specifically the fourth turning, AKA Strauss Howe generational theory. And this is not about politics to me. I want all of the people that have been owing Blay up a the country for the past year to be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. I don't give a flip about their politics. I don't care if they're anarcho-communists or Trump supporters or whoever they are. I want all of them to be prosecuted for blowing up the country. All of them. I don't play favorites. This video is not about partisan politics. Although I do feel that America definitely deserves to be judged for all of her terrible sins and the Green New Deal is probably an excellent punishment to put America through. And to my esteemed colleagues on the left, make no mistake, the Green New Deal is a horrible mistake and will be a dream wrecker and a nightmare for America. But you know what? America's earned it. With all of its sin and loving her sin and embracing all the wickedness she's embraced, America has earned the Green New Deal. And I think part of this war slash evolution race cycle that's about to hit is divine judgment for America's sins. There's still time to repent and to turn from our wicked ways, y'all, but the window is shrinking and we're in for a world of hurt if we don't well-deserved world of hurt, by the way. Any nation that treats nearly a million unborn babies annually like medical waste is sprinting, sprinting for a fall. Any nation that repeatedly criminally invades and occupies other countries like America has is sprinting for a fall. So to my colleagues on the left, I truly hope that it works out the way y'all hope it will. I truly do. I want the king to succeed because I want the country to succeed, but I'm not optimistic. Now for the good news and what I am optimistic about. For those of us under the blood of the lamb who truly seek God's will and who regularly repent of our sins and try to stay close to the will of God, we're going to be fine. My family is going to be fine financially. We tithe. I operate in God's economy, so I don't have to worry about the vicissitudes of man's economy, okay? And if I end up having to martyr myself for my faith, which I will gladly do, then I know that God will provide for my family. So I'm not concerned. I'm carefree. I have a peace that passes all understanding. Not watching all the Fear and foolishness pumped out by the media also helps with that, by the way. But for those of you interested in my plan for operating within man's economy, here's some tips for you. Divest yourself of dollar-denominated assets, stocks, bonds, the dollar. Invest in cryptocurrencies and precious metals and land and livestock and anything with intrinsic value. Disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor and that is not financial advice. That's what I'm doing. Anyhow, continue to pray for our nation and our leaders, y'all. Even if you don't like them, even if you can't stand them, pray for Sleepy Creepy. He really needs your prayer. Pray for Nancy. She really needs your prayer. It was brought to my attention the other day that Mad Max, the movie Mad Max, was set in the year 2021. Predictive programming is a thing, y'all. So for those of y'all belly aching about 2020, remember 2020 is going to look and feel like the good old days. Father God bless you all. Jesus Christ saves and stay positive. And if you're under the blood of Jesus Christ, it's easy to stay positive.